Well, we have got a very special guest for you. Hannah White is on the stage. She's going to take it away. No blushing this time, Hannah. Take it away. Well, this is definitely the favourite part of my list here yesterday and the day before, and it's absolutely brilliant. And today is certainly no exception. This guy came here, totally smashed it out of the park, performed fantastically, and he has reaped the rewards because he's got himself and his country a gold medal. Before on the screen in action. I'm not going to give away who it is, but I'm sure you can guess. Ladies and gentlemen, please give him a huge round of applause. The gold medalist from the men's laser fleet from Australia, Tom Slingsby. Come on, you can cheer loud and loud. Tom, a huge huge congratulations this is how many years of dreaming even that you could finally make it here uh for me the olympic dream started in uh, sydney 2000 i remember as a 15 year old i was sitting down on the rocks and uh, i remember watching the match race between ben ainsley and uh, robert Scheidt and and that really inspired me i knew what i wanted to do and yeah i've, I've been chasing the gold medal ever since and, and finally i got it and I mean, how amazing was it for you yesterday? You were just a stone's throw away from us here on the No. We had literally hundreds of your friends and family and supporters from Australia here with us, soaking up the atmosphere and cheering you on. Was it amazing? Could you hear us all? Could you soak up the atmosphere? Yeah, you can really, uh, you can definitely hear the crowd. Every time I came in close, I... Uh... I tried not to look too much, but I had snuck a little peek and uh, saw a few of my friends and family. But uh, yeah, when the crowd cheers, you, you get a real tingle up your spine and it's an amazing feeling. And just talk to us, because Beijing was a real low point for you. It was really, really disappointing. You didn't even get through to the medal race. And talking to your family yesterday, there was a point where you actually thought you'd give up sailing and, and move away from the Olympics. Is that right? Yeah, after uh, China, before China, I'd sort of, I'd won world titles, I'd, I'd won European titles and World Cups, and uh, the only thing that eluded me was the gold medal, and, and yeah, after China, I thought, it's, it's a long wait to have another shot at redemption, so four years was a long wait, but finally the day came, and I'm so glad that I, I kept going, and yeah, I'm a very happy man now with a gold medal.